الوعد يرعبني ظلم يهددني لا شيء اخسره who is the antichrist and when it, it will come and who will fight with him can you light on that well that's the question islamically who's antichrist and who will fight there are various hadith talking about dajjal dajjal will come and jesus christ peace be upon him will come again he has been raised up alive by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in his second coming he will fight against this dajjal and the various hadith talking about the dajjal that he'll be one eyed etc so many people have given the own view who the dajjal will be so there are hadith they talking about the dajjal so surely before the world ends this dajjal will come he'll be born isa alayhi salam will come again he will see to that he kills this dajjal may the salam will come and khilafah will be established so all these are there so this is basically talking about the dajjal where the various hadith talking about it Is it from Jews? No, no. See, many things what is mentioned in the Bible may have also been mentioned in the Quran. What is mentioned in the Quran is also mentioned in the Bible. We agree it is correct, but there are many things which are mentioned there in the Bible which is not mentioned in the Quran. So it comes in the Mubah category, optional. But there are some things which are mentioned in the Bible which is again is the Quran and Sahih Hadith that we don't have to agree at all. So whenever you read any other scripture, whether it be the Bible. Whether it be the Veda or any other religious scripture, there are three categories. One is what matches with Quran, Sahih Hadith. Whatever matches with Quran and Sahih Hadith, we have to follow it, and we agree it is correct. What goes against the Quran and Hadith, we say it is wrong. What does not go against matches comes in Mubah category. Maybe right, maybe wrong. So there are things also mentioned about Antichrist in the Bible that there will be six, six, six mentioned, triple six. You know, all these things are there. So whatever matches with the Quran, we agree. What is against the Quran? We disagree. What is optional? May be right, may be wrong. Hope that answers the question. Finally, um, my name is Tanya. I work for Cisco. Uh, I'm not here to disagree with anything, but I've always had a lot of people, especially Muslims. Well, not a lot of people, just Muslims, always telling me because you're a Catholic. You're going to go to Jahannam, but we're Muslims. You need to convert, and you will go to heaven. According to me, I'm a good Catholic. I try to be a good Catholic. I don't intentionally commit sin, but does that mean because I'm a Catholic, I'm going to go to hell? And if I'm a Muslim, I'm going to go to heaven? Sister asks a question that many of her Muslim friends say: because she's a Catholic, because she's a Christian, she will go to hell. That is it true that because she's a Christian, you will go to hell, sister? According to me. If you're a true Christian, if you truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, inshallah you shall go to Jannah. But, but if you truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, "Seek ye the truth, and the truth shall free you." Correct. Now, what you are following, I don't know. Are you following your church, or are you following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? If you are following your church, the chances of going to Jannah is very high. If you are following Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Inshallah, Inshallah, you shall go to Jannah. Now, if you read the Bible, there are sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. I don't know how much you are well versed with the Bible. Now, all the sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, are in red letter. Are in right. red letter. Yeah. Sister, do you believe Jesus to be God? Well, I'm a bit confused about that, so I'm not going to get into that. No, I'm I asking just... yes or no. Well. Confused God. No, it's it's not confusion, but I don't want to answer something I don't know, and it's not funny. I'm not saying it's you know or not, sister. I'm not saying you know or not. What do you believe? I'm asking. No, I do believe he's God. Yes. Yes, I that's do. it. I'm not saying yes. what you know. You may not I be do. able to prove it. Yeah, Fine. I do. Sister, I'll tell you one thing. Islam is the only non-Christian faith, which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe. That he was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was born miraculously without any intervention. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. Yes. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind lepers with God's permission. The Christians and the Muslims they are going together. But one may ask, where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is, sister, that most of the Christians, almost all, they believe. That Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is Almighty God. They believe he claimed divinity. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement 
There is not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. Sister, if you can point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement, anywhere from the Bible in which Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity today. In fact, if you read the Bible, I'm not spoken about you accepting I'll come to it. Or not. I'm I, not. I got my answer. I'm okay. giving a yes. I'm, I got my answer. You got half the answer. I'm giving the complete answer, okay. Insha. You can go ahead. You got half the answer. Okay. I told you that if you're a true Christian, you should go to Jannah. Yes. You don't know what a true Christian is. I'm giving you information about true Christian is. Okay. If you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devils with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devils. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just, for I seek not my will, but the will of my father. Anyone who says, I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God is a Muslim. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, submitted his will to God, he was a Muslim. He never said he was God. It's clearly mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 24. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says that the words that you hear are not mine, but father, whom thou hast sent. And it's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. E men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. So Jesus Christ is a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. So from the Bible you come to know that Jesus Christ was one of the most beloved messengers of Almighty God. We love him, we respect him. Do we follow his teachings? If you compare what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Bible, I told that yesterday that we Muslims, we follow more of the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Jesus Christ, according to the Gospel of Luke, he was circumcised on the eighth day. We Muslims are circumcised, most of the Christians are. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, you have to follow each and every law. Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verse number 17. Everything of the Old Testament, you can't break one law or dot or tittle. As I mentioned in my speech, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse number 8, in the book of Isaiah chapter 65, verse 2 to 5, and the book of Leviticus chapter number 11, verse number 7 to 8, that you should not have pork. We Muslims don't have pork, but most of the Christians have pork. It's mentioned in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 18, book of Proverbs chapter 20, verse number 1, you should not have alcohol. Muslims don't have alcohol, but Christians have alcohol. So if Christian means a person, who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, then we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. So if you become a true Christian and truly follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter shall not come. For if I go, shall I send him? It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that here shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Verbatim quotation from the Bible, King James Version. So Jesus Christ is prophesying about the coming of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you're a true Christian, if you truly believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you have to believe in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if you're a true Christian, you'll believe in Prophet Muhammad, and inshallah, you shall go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm happy. I'm a Muslim, that's what makes me happy, and that's the truth. Question from the brother's mic. Yes, carry on, brother. Hello, uh, good evening. My name is Sivam. I'm from Malaysia. I'm actually uh, been all over the world to do the best to get the most uh, peaceful mind for all over the brothers. Okay, I have a company in Malaysia which have all the people working with me including Africans, Pakistanis, Bangladesh, Thailand, and few other countries. Oh, what I find here, I would like to talk, I will be very pleased to, uh, and thanks to you all to give me opportunity as a last talk. I was following up this for many, around eight years, you know. 
So why am I disappointed here now? When you talk about the peace, it should not come from only the word. It should be come from the activities. Okay? The major things going on in the world is not in the way of peace. You must understand the most peaceful language is come from love. What is going on in the Middle East now? It's politics. I just now don't want to voice out because the politician is here. I don't want to see any politician because the politician, the world become crashed. Okay? I want to soon and hang her because you know why, you know? So my question here is very, very clear. You cannot deny it. If we do the good thing and the best thing, even I giving the best thing to my staff, is from all over the world. I'm taking them as my own family. Then when I die, he said, I didn't carry the good things. I didn't go to the correct place. Who went to the heaven and come back and tell that I never been the whole place? Brother, See, brother, what's you your see, question? You brother, brother this is a question answer time. Yeah. What is your question? You already My given question a question. My question is very clear. Yes, I was looking into the question all people putting on you. I'm very clear. It's all a basic question. I'm asking the floor. 80% or 90% of you, don't you understand what you say? You all should know very well. Is it in Quran? Everybody should know. You watch what you are explaining now, just now. It's all a basic, which I know. I have a lot of brothers working with me. For all of My question is, you cannot deny a person, if it is, I mean, I respect all the religious. Hindu, you know. Imagine some of them. You know what is the meaning of that? We respect all the religious. I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat fish, I don't eat chicken, I don't eat anything. Okay? I got three children. I even touch my hand with my wife, you know. That's why you told me Hindu can marry more wife. I ever, never, never, even my wife die, I die. It's something like that. Brother has asked a question. Brother, yeah. brother, I've understood your question. You have given a short speech. Yeah, yeah. This is a question answer time. You're talking about yeah. practice and you're breaking the rules. Yeah, the rule question, I got you. You give me a clear answer. If you are a non Muslim, if they do a lot of good things, even I pay for the masjid or what, I've done everything for church and all. You are, tell, you are telling me that. I don't get the correct message to go to the correct place? Brother well, asked the question that if a non-Muslim gives charity, etc. And he said that, will you go to the correct place? Your question is everything garbled. You have to ask simple questions. You have given short, short speeches. That you should not read book. You should practice Middle East. You have family. You said so many words, but there was no clear-cut question. A question should have a question mark in the no, ending. What I'm trying to say is very simple. Can, can you give me the answer? If non-Muslim, good things, like even, even give our life to Muslim, we didn't do the best for you all even when I die. Many people say it's very pity if you're not Muslim. Is this correct answer? Brother is asking that if a non-Muslim does good things like he has given charity, so when he dies, will he go to heaven or hell? That's what I understand. Brother, the answer I already gave earlier. When you sit for an examination, like when I sat for my 10th standard ICSC, there were six subjects I had to pass. Science, English, Hindi, History, Geography. I had to pass. If I get 100 out of 100 in five subjects, and one subject, Science, I get 10 out of 100, will I pass? I will fail. So similarly, the criteria to go to Jannah, to go to Paradise, is you should have faith, number one, Righteous deeds, exhort people to truth, exhort people to patient perseverance. You may be a righteous person, you may be giving charity, etc. But if you don't have faith, if you don't believe in the one true God, if you don't worship the true God, you fail the test. So for you to pass, you have to pass in all the four criteria. Iman, that is have faith, believe in one true God, should not do idol worship, should not believe in false gods. Number two, righteous deed. Number three, exhorting people to truth, that is Dawa. Number four, exhorting people to patience and perseverance. So you, if you do not believe in the one true God and do not worship Him alone, associate partners with Him, under no circumstances in the next life will you pass, you will fail. Hope that answers the question.